My name is Tim Heidecker, and I am one of the writers, directors, co-writers, and art, uh, creative actors in the film, the Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. Hi, I'm Eric Wareheim, one of the creators and star and director, writer of Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie. My name is Jeffrey Kelly, and I am the president of the National Association of Cinematic Arts. That's NACA. Uh, the NACA Challenge has been the greatest prize ever given to a film or filmmakers. Um, the, what the NACA Challenge is is simply a challenge from NACA that says, we encourage and uh, challenge you to make the best film of all time. And we've done it. I'm Jeffrey Kelly, and I guarantee that is the NACA Challenge. Some of our favorite films were awarded the NACA Challenge. Sweat House. Sandbag. What's for dinner tonight? Chinese. My favorite film. Well, I, 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 know, I know the film's better than Hoagie's Fortune. We've had a chance to see that. I go home, I see my car, and I just wish it was smaller. <laughs> you know, I think our film's gonna be better than The Wind. I think, you know, it's gonna be better than, than some of the Crocodile Dundee movies. So it will be at the top of the list when it comes to great movies of all time. Will it be number one? Yes. I was spending the weekend alone with my father in the woods, and we were fishing, and along the horizon line, I see a forest ranger running as fast as he can towards us. He said, Eric Wareheim, I have an important message from Jeffrey Kelly. You and Tim have been accepted for the NACA challenge. And I looked to my dad, and my dad was already crying, and I, I embraced my father, and our tears mixed and I made our shirts wet and I turned and looked at that park ranger and I said tell Jeffrey Kelly we accept the NACA challenge it has been such uh, a pleasure to be a part of NACA and I even have a NACA tattoo and I had that gotten I gotten it years ago which is a coincidence Jeff as an acting coach kind of blows you away because he strips everything from you. You know, you spent, uh, you know, before the film starts, Eric and I spent a week each separately with Jeff in his nude room and really, you know, got nude for a week. He took me aside and gave me one-on-one -on -one improv lessons at his home. I said, Jeff, we already did a whole week in the nude room. This do we need to have a whole another nude improv thing? And he said, yes. It was dark and it was close, a uh, small room, uh, and uh, just, when by the, time, by the time you came out of that room, you were kind of uh, ready for anything. In that dark nude room, there were moments that we wouldn't speak for hours. I would just feel wisps of hair brushing against my face. And I could only assume that's Jeffrey Kelly spinning around and the speed that he must have been spinning is incredible. He establishes a lot of ground rules in the nude room, and it can be very painful, it can be very hurtful. If you're forgetting your lines, uh, or, or not concentrated enough, he'll go, he'll look you right in the eye and go, I'll touch you again! I'll f And that, you know, then the next take, all of a sudden you have all this life and energy to you because you don't want to go through that again. I've trained my entire life to be an actor like Ted and Eric my entire life, but I'm just the president of NACA driving a tiny car.